Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the Ephemetric session on Axiom Genotyping. Uh, and thank you for being here. Uh, what I wanted to do today, before we have speakers from Bristol, uh, University of Bristol and the Roslyn Institute, just give you a brief update on our Axiom Genotyping solution. And then also give you uh, some highlights on some of the new products that we are releasing in our genotyping portfolio. Uh, I think most of you are familiar with Ephemetrics. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, uh, we are a pioneer in the microarray platform. We are headquartered in uh, Santa Clara, California. Um, and over the past two decades, we have worked on a number of uh, microarray platforms uh, and uh, come up with solutions in both expression and genotyping. Our install base is now approaching about 2,300 systems worldwide, and we have 48,000 and more publications uh, uh, in, in, on our technology. Uh, what I want to talk to you about is the Axiom arrays. And so the Axiom genotyping arrays are used in a broad range of applications that give you complete flexibility on both markers as well as samples. Uh, so you can start out with, so if you have uh, markers discovered, let's say through your uh, next-gen sequencing for a plant or an animal, uh, you can take those markers and uh, put them on what we call high-density arrays. And these can be run on a diverse set of samples. You can run uh, 1,000 samples and uh, identify the uh, polymorphic markers that are relevant to your uh, population, uh, the, the breed or the cultivar that you're working with. So it's a nice way of validating NGS discoveries. It helps you identify false SNPs. It helps you identify the most polymorphic markers use a diverse set of uh, samples uh, that can be uh, used for worldwide applications. Uh, going down, you can use a, a similar format for either trait association or selection. So this is where your typical GWAS studies would come in. And then last but not the least, uh, this is uh, the routine application uh, uses the 384 HD format. Uh, what I want to talk about is the 384 HD array. And uh, I have one right over here. Um, what's key about this one is uh, each one of these, there are 384 arrays, and each one of these arrays has 50,000 markers. So you can imagine the data points when you're using uh, it for a routine breeding application. The key is it's extremely easy to use. So when you're working with routine applications, you really want the results quickly. You want a low cost solution. And this plate really allows you to go from samples in a 384 microtiter plate, take it all the way through the assay, and what you get is 50,000 data points for each of the 384 samples that you have put on the, uh, on, into the microtiter plate. Extremely easy to use, as I said, and analysis is very quick. But what's key over here is our manufacturing, uh, the way we manufacture them. We use a very sophisticated semiconductor-based photolithographic process and what that allows us to do is, it basically allows us to design these arrays where every marker is accessible on every array. And you can design an array today, you can use it for a study next year, maybe three years from now, maybe 10 years from now, and you're going to get the exact same marker. So let's say you're working with plant breeding applications and you have a favorite marker, maybe it tells you about something about flowering time and you, you know, really want to use this. Well, you work with our design team, they will make sure that that marker goes in the array, and you'll have that marker accessible on every array for, the, for as long as you need it. The other piece is really no missing data. The other advantage of Axiom technology is our customization process, and really the key is, you know, we have now made it, we have transformed the customization process completely where you're able to now design an array and have it delivered to you in less than six weeks. So you can imagine. I mean, we're working towards solving the food population, so we need to be faster and faster at getting this. And today, you can order the array. Six weeks later, you have your data. To give you an example, uh, this is a customer who um, was in the International Cotton Consortium. And he had a set of markers from his sequencing discovery. Uh, he was interested in a 50,000 array. He looked at the options he had. 
did not like the option from the other company that took about six months and then maybe another two months for analysis, came to us and asked us if we could design a cotton array. And in six weeks, we, uh, we, we literally, in, this was in actually about six weeks from design, we delivered the array in about six days. He had completed processing of the plates, the array plates, and the analysis took about a day. So in this time, he was able to get the results, and it's mainly because of the sophisticated bioinformatics that we use. So cotton being an, uh, being an allotetraploid, you can see a lot of uh, cluster compression. But the genotyping algorithm that, algorithm that we use in Axiom allows us to resolve these cluster compressions. And you can see it so clearly. The customer actually used a biparental mapping population in this study. There were about 192 samples. You can see that head being picked up. That's not going to be possible with GBS. Um, you can also see the cluster compression. All of these were automatically resolved. So you can see the power of Axiom technology. Not only was the customer able to get his data in six weeks, and a little more than that, but he was also able to complete the analysis. His next step is, of course, now taking it to the next level, going into the breeding applications. So the, the possibilities are endless. The applications are multiple. You can, uh, we have customers who have, uh, or if you have uh, taken the pre-verified content, these are arrays that we have developed with uh, experts, and some of them develop in-house. We have, uh, if you can take your markers from SNP discovery initiatives and design an array in our 96 format. And uh, then once you have completed the study, you can decide whether you want to go, this could be a high density array, for example. This could have maybe 800,000 markers. It could be, think of it as the wheat array that Dr. Parker will be talking about a little later. You could take the markers on that and then take it to a 96, different 96 format with the guarantee that all of the markers that you want from this array will be on the next array. And that, that's the 100% reproducibility and fidelity. In less than six weeks from design to delivery, so that's really the key here. If you want to publish papers, if you want to you know, start the, you know, get your data before the, 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 the breeding season starts, then the timeline becomes key and then you know, throughput is just fantastic. So if you use, for example, a 384 plate, you could do more than 3,000 samples per week very easily. Uh, you can sub-select markers, you can add new markers, select markers from multiple species. So this is something that's, uh, that is very popular with our customers, where they look at uh, maybe maize and barley, take markers from both, and then design an array, so then they can just order a single array, and then they can use it either for wheat uh, so half the plate could be used for wheat, maybe half the other plate could be used for barley. So that's, uh, that, those are what we call multi-species arrays. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the publicly available arrays. You know, last, uh, earlier, uh, last year we heard you know, from you guys that we wa you wanted uh, these arrays available for everyone. So. In this case, what we have done is we've uh, commercialized a maze array. This, wasn't, this is what uh, is an expert-designed array. We've worked with uh, Dr. Chris Cohn from Technical University of Munich. And this was a very carefully designed array. This is one of the applications that I kind of uh, alluded to previously. They actually used 1.2 million SNPs, uh, 1.2 million markers from their genotyping discovery. Um, and then they looked at the cultivars from across the world, so they wanted to make it very relevant. As you know, temperate and tropical lines can be very different, the, the performance, so they looked at founder lines, elite lines, and they designed, uh, you know, they evaluated uh, these samples on the 1.2 million, then they subselected the, about si the 616,000 from that 1.2 million marker set and designed this high density array. And this array will be available on, uh, it will ship on April 1st, and there's a promotion running now, so if you want to order before March 31st. Please visit our booth, there is a data sheet that's available. Uh, uh, this is really a worldwide array, and I don't think we've ever had one before where it's applicable to every region in the world. And that's what you really need for addressing food problems across the world. You want to be able to build an application that is very relevant to the different cultivars that are grown around the world. The next, the next array that I want to talk about is a salmon array, and you'll be hearing uh, 
from Dr. Alan Archibald about it from the University of Roslyn. This is, that array is also going to be public. Uh, this array has uh, uh, greater than 130,000 SNPs. It has multiple breeds represented. And it's an expert designed array designed with uh, Roslyn Institute of Edinburgh Genomics, Landtag, <coughs> University of Stirling, and University of Glasgow. Again, you know, uh, de designed by experts. They look at it very carefully. Uh, they give prefer in this one, they gave preference to the transcribed regions. This one is, sh uh, is uh, shipping March 1st. This one is also uh, what we call a high density array. So again, uh, very popular. Um, and then the last one that I want to talk about is the wheat array. You uh, may or may not have seen, there was a press release from Ephemetrix that gives more details about it. Uh, this one uh, was designed in, uh, by University of Bristol. Dr. Parker will talk about it. Uh, it's an 817,000, it's an array with 817,000 markers. And what will happen next is we'll take these markers, we'll subselect markers from this array and take it into this high, um, high throughput uh, focused array with 384 arrays. And these, these arrays will then be used for breeding. And so they will be available before the spring breeding season, uh, spring breeding season starts. The, the, the key here is, uh, you know, we have never, no array has ever been re uh, released that has functional and positional information. Now with the, these smaller arrays and the 817,000, it includes both the functional and positional annotation inf information. This is key. This is what you really need for uh, in breeding. And it'll be used uh, in weed breeding to improve diversity. Uh, with that, I think this is my last slide. Uh, thank you. You know, we have a number of species. Uh, there are a number of posters here that uh, are to highlight the arrays. Uh, uh, this, uh, this, there was a uh, talk on strawberry array that was given by the Rossbreed Consortium. We also have posters on, uh, I believe we have posters on the uh, soybean array, and uh, you'll hear talk about the wheat array. We support, the key here is we support all of these custom arrays. We have a dedicated bioinformatics team. They work with complex uh, plant species as well as animal species. They, we have algorithms. They help you solve the problems. They help you in your analysis. We have a, uh, 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 you know, if, uh, people in the field who help with the assay. And that's the key. We have all-round support for our customer arrays. 